Welcome back, everybody, to episode 30 of our playthrough on Crusader Kings 3. We are now uh, about 150 years away from the end of the game, and if I'm able to, I do plan to continue on playing as Britannia into Europa Universalis 4. I want to say a big thank you to everybody on this channel, whether you are brand new to the channel or a longtime subscriber. Uh, we got over 40,000 subs over the weekend, and I am grateful for every one of you. I know how hard it was to get here. Uh, after two full years of having this channel, I had about 4,000 subscribers. So the growth in the last two and a half years since then has been amazing, and I'm thankful to have all of you. Please don't forget that this entire series has been sponsored by uh, HistoryCourses.com. Uh, they're a fantastic uh, website that I've told you about here and there with some full ads. The link's in the description, including a discount code that'll give you 10% off your very first purchase. And that first purchase also, in part, will support this channel. So the greater that first purchase, the greater your discount, the greater your support for the channel. Let's dive in. So we are eyeing what comes next as we are finally free of... Civil War for the first time in a while. Uh, that last episode was just full of us dealing with those civil wars. We do have a few counties in the northern part of the realm that we could probably deal with, but I'm not too worried about that right now. Uh, I'm mostly starting to think about what comes next if we can go after Brittany. So what will we lose when... No, oh, I'm not too worried about that. So we need to designate a guardian for my son and heir and we had somebody who was crazy high in learning skill if i remember right but i guess they're not in our realm now so we'll go with now you know what i'm gonna look around see if i can find somebody better like maybe over in the holy roman empire for example he's probably gonna die soon but yeah you know what kaiser martin's got 25 in learning skill maybe that's where we go with this off reward Where's my son? Is it not giving me that option? Well, you know what? At the very least, I have a nine-year-old sister. I always forget that. Oh, there he is. Eldwine. That's my, my heir. Awesome. We'll have Kaiser Martin train up my son. Excellent news. So a bit of a dilemma here is that I want to go ahead and press this claim for the Kingdom of Brittany, but I'm also concerned about my financial situation. I'll pretty much bankrupt myself if I go after it now. But if I wait, there's always the risk that I could lose the claim and have to do it all over again. And I'm really not making that much money right now. So I think we're going to go ahead and do it. He has, or she has, a pretty powerful ally in uh, Burgundy, actually. Uh, so that could become an issue, obviously, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and do it anyway. Now, of course, the question is, do they raise, right now they've only got the 7,000, but they, uh, if they call their ally, they're gonna have substantially more that enters into this. A new relation, one of my mother's old acquaintances, Juliana, has arrived at court at her invitation. Um, I'm sure we can find something for her to do. Okay. Let me look at my council for a second. My chancellor's not the best, really. Uh, my steward's excellent. That's my brother, the King of Wales. But I feel like there's got to be a better chancellor option. Well, not really. I guess not. Okay, so let's go ahead and raise the armies. First things first, let's find a good spot to raise them. Uh, and it's going to get expensive to cross the channel with them, unfortunately. That's just the reality. Oh, I forgot I still had other rally points. Darn it. I should have moved all the rally points to the same spot. And there's the Duke of, Bur uh, of uh, Burgundy joining the war. So now they've got 21,000 men. So we might have bitten off more than we could chew here. Oh, we can call the, the King of France. Oh, he's an ally. Ah. Uh -uh. 
Byzantine Emperor. Come on, baby. He, the Byzantine Empire actually has a little bit of land right here. Oh, my brother, uh, King Eadred of Wales, has created a cadet branch of our royal family. And I decided to go ahead and disband the army for now. That's weird. Thought I already did that. All right, there's the Byzantine army. Oh, baby. Do your thing. Friends in high places. I don't even have my army raised right now. This is fantastic. Just let them spread out and conquer this territory for me. They've even got a base of supply right here. Not that that kind of thing matters in this game a whole lot. Let's just watch them do their thing. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Look at that huge army. Interesting. With the passing of Emperor Kotyan, several successors have claimed the position as Great Khan. With none of them recognizing the others, we are finally seeing the end of the Mongols as a unified empire. They may not be weak, but they can no longer stand united behind a single universal ruler. Thank you for your mercy, God. Um, as my eyes meet Countess Matilda's for what feels like the 20th time tonight. Uh... No, no, no. All right, I'll give her a good tumble. Um, let's take a look at the map. Oh, wow. Because this was all one empire. Look at how shattered it is. I mean, it literally did shatter completely. Hey, there's my wife's name right there. Uh, wow. <laughs> Dang. I thought it maybe broke into three or four pieces, not 30 or 40 pieces. All right, we're about to win this war. No help from myself in this one. We also have an available perk here. Reduction in title creation cost will do that. As soon as they win one more siege, this one will be over. Where'd they go? Wait, you got it to 90% and then you sent your army home? There we go. He's fighting a battle. That didn't do anything, though. That was the Kingdom of France. Is he fighting against France, too? France isn't in this war, is he? He must be at an, in another war as well. Alright, well, it looks like France has come to the aid of Burgundy, and suddenly we have a real problem on our hands that isn't easily solvable simply by using the Byzantine army. So what's Duke William doing? Oh, we're going to hang on to him. Uh, looks like now we're going to have to raise our army. So let me go ahead and do that. We've got a little more money now. Still not quite enough military power. But, oh, they're down to just 12,900. I won't be fighting against France. So, I think France is just fighting against the Byzantines. So, let's get across. See what we can do here. That's the French army, and they're taking these territories, which is definitely a problem for me. All right, we won the war. And with that, Brittany is now part of Britannia. What is this war? So we'll probably get called to this war now. Well, no, it's showing me as a defender against the French. Oh, probably because I took over Brittany and France was at war with Brittany. So now we've got to fight the French. Not a problem. My former allies... 
The Battle of Rohan. It sounds like something from Lord of the Rings. Rohan will answer. Now my son comes of age. My heir. Who will make a fine commander. He's a skilled tactician, formidable banneret, unyielding defender. Excellent. I'd like to see that. And a great victory. We took the king's son and heir hostage. Well then. That puts us at 99% on that war. Let's go into France then, shall we? I'd really like to finish this. All right, that war's over too. We keep the contested title. They're going to pay 1814 to me. Oh yeah. Thank you. I stumbled into that war and it worked out beautifully. All right. I think we're good for now. Okay, so my son's betrothal has become a marriage. As his fiance finally turned 16, or his betrothed, I guess they didn't really use that word fiance back then. She is the daughter of Prince Guy of France, who in turn is the well, he was the son of Guy the 4th of France. Not sure who the current king is. He's 70. My goodness. Greetings, my impeccable liege, Duke William, who's in prison, says. Uh, he wants me to release Princess Anne of Scotland. Uh, would you let her go in return for this offer? Um, I don't think I will, no. Who all do I have in prison right now? I guess I have quite a few. Let's look at our vassals. Yeah, Duke William of Essex, who's actually got a favorable opinion of me now. The Queen of Brittany, not so much. How is she still considered the... Oh, she's a Queen of Brittany because I am an Emperor. So she retains her title of Queen. Yeah, I'll accept your feast invitation. We have a positive relationship. A warm welcome. What could go wrong, right? Famous last words. I've got a nice amount of income right now. Or a nice amount of finances, not necessarily income. Might be a good time to go on a pilgrimage. My piety's pretty low. We'll go to Jerusalem. Although I'm in the middle of the feast, so I guess... Did I just screw up the feast? Passing by the campfire, one of my fellow travelers is telling a story he once heard about some emperor to raucous laughter. They all fall silent when I approach, except for the storyteller. Ah, don't worry, my lord. You're nothing like the spawn of hell in this story. It's about the emperor of some faraway place called Britannia. Oh, yeah? Tell me more of this emperor. Perhaps it is time I found others to travel with. Time for a new marshal as well. The Queen of Brittany as marshal? Ah, why not? Why not? That'll make her hate me slightly less. Um, how about we work on a sway scheme and start to win her to my side a little bit. All right. Lots of piety has come my way. Cost me some money, but now I have over a thousand piety where before I had like a hundred. Child of my dynasty. My daughter-in-law, Achieve, has given birth to a son. Uh, so is this, this is the future king then. Uh, we got to get back to the Edwards. We haven't had Edwards in our line for a few generations now. Faction created against me. Alliance invalid. Uh, so the king of France probably died because he was old. No, he's still alive. So what happened to my alliance and why did I lose it? Interesting. All right, let's take a look at the, the faction for a second here. They want independence. Uh, that's Breton Catholic populist, so that's Brittany. There's only two right now that have joined it, and one of them, of course, is the queen. And then peasants. So not too worried about that. All right, we can unlock the ability to use forced vassalization, which is actually really, really helpful as an emperor. 
Ellsworth can marry. That's my daughter. Or my sister. She's old enough now. Prince in Georgia doesn't do me a lot of good. The Duke of Luxembourg, nah. My nephew. Uh, I feel like my sister marrying my nephew would be frowned upon. So let's look elsewhere. Like I'm thinking on the continent now. Where can we make some advantageous, advantageous alliances? King Miguel of Aquitaine. Interesting that a French territory is ruled by someone who is obviously um, not French. Does he have any young sons? Not married. Yeah, I'll look around a little bit. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and marry her off to a Georgian prince with a matrilineal marriage, which means that their children will be born into the house of Greenhill all the way over in Georgia. So this is the son of the uh, king of Georgia. So Georgia, if you're not familiar, is way the heck. Uh, it's so hard on this map to tell where things are. Okay, up here we are. Should be over here somewhere, right? Are they part of the Byzantine Empire? They must be. Let's look at kingdom titles. There it is, right there. So there's Georgia. My lord, my emperor, I require some financing. My vassal, Duke Gregory of York, looks at me intently before continuing. I'm even willing to make concessions. Please, I know that you have the means to help me. Gold for Suffolk. Reasonable, right? All right, all right. I'll pay 450 gold for the Earldom of Suffolk, which dramatically improves my income because I don't have many counties of my own. Faction targeting me has disbanded, so the swaying of the Queen of Brittany is working. Someone is plotting to kill my mother. Who also happens to be the spy master. So my mother and spy master tells me that someone is plotting to kill my mother and spy master. Well, if anybody can find out who it is, it should be her, right? I guess we'll find out. My cousin was slain in battle, the Battle of Coventry. Why is there fighting going on in my realm? Oh, and you know what? We can now raise crown authority. This is not going to go over well. Last time we did this... It failed miserably, but we're going to try again. My wife is pregnant. Ignore him and steal his ideas. How dare you challenge your emperor? All right, here comes the Liberty Faction. Right away, as soon as we raise the crown authority, a faction emerges, which we expected. That's what happened last time, too. Uh, they don't have the power to send an ultimatum. And honestly, Duke Richard the Bully of Northumbria is the primary person doing this. So let's go ahead and start trying to sway him now. Okay, we've got another son. That's enough sons. We have an heir and a spare. Somebody mentioned we haven't done any Henrys yet. Now, obviously, Henry, not really an Anglo-Saxon name. That's more of a Norman name. But you know what? We'll go with it. My spy master is coming to me with the grave news. Is my sister that is plotting against my mother. What? That's not her mother too, is it? That is her mother. She's plotting against her own mother? Come on. Sister, sister. She's Wait, she's 10. Oh, no, no. It's That's her son. She's 37. You know what? What are the odds we can imprison her? Yep, it's going to happen. Yep. House arrest. Can't plot against our mother. What is wrong with you? Wait, how do I have another son? I just had a son. And we have... Alright, let's take a look here. So I've got a son, Edward. I've got a son, Eldwine. Oh, the other one... Oh, boy. The other one was his son, Edward. That's why. All right. So this is my son, Edward. All right. It's a little early in the morning. Bear with me. I'm a little confused. All right. So the faction has gained some steam. We're going to see if we can 
drop this down a little bit. We're going to pay a little bribe to Duke Richard, gain 87 opinion of me. That puts him majorly on the positive side. Will that... Oh my gosh, my wife's pregnant again. Don't you two know what causes that? My brother King Edward has created a cadet branch, so both Ireland and Wales will be under cadet branches of the family now. Ruling the multicultural empire of Britannia comes with its own set of challenges. Uh, so my marshal suggests that I could learn their language. Okay. Hire a tutor to instruct me. Overwhelmed by stress. Time to go to the brothel. Now I'm rakish. It's happened before, but I'm no longer stressed out at least. I could still ransom Duke William. You know what? He's been in jail long enough. We'll let him out. A feast at Nottingham, sure. All right, we, we were supposed to have done that before, and then we went on a pilgrimage instead. Can propose an alliance without marriage. Very cool. The Dilemma. The feast is dwindling down. I found myself deep in conversation with a generous vassal, Mayor Blanche. All right, let's talk more. So it looks like we're friends now. Ah, uh, keep trying. Nah, time is spent better elsewhere. Main thing is, how's the faction doing? All right, see, they're too weak now. Uh, the weak that faction's falling apart. Um, all right, let's go with another more English-sounding name here, Elizabeth. It is. I think we're good now on the swaying. Sinful Prince Archbishop exposed. Let's look at our vassals. Who else can we... All right, Duke William. Let's work on swaying him a little bit. Here's something you don't see every day. Your counselor, Ralph, died from complications related to gigantism. <laughs> oh, man. There's some weird stuff happening in our kingdom, our, our empire. Uh, so you can see the size of the Holy Roman Empire and the Byzantine Empire. It looks like Holy, Holy Roman Empire is cutting into the Byzantine Empire a little bit there. And really, that's about it as far as empires go. You can see there are other empires that can be formed, but none of them have really happened. I want to look at the kingdom titles because I would love... Oh, Aquitaine is a kingdom. Burgund Burgundy is a kingdom. Lorraine can be a kingdom right there. Interesting. All right, so with 3,000 gold and a pretty decent monthly income, I'm thinking about raising up the size of my army yet again. I like these armored horsemen. I think I'm going to go higher with those. We'll also go up with the house carls and then I think the crossbowmen. So that's going to cost me some money to fill those out. Another cadet branch, this time in Glasgow. My brother, Prince Elfstan, who is a duke uh, the Duchy of Strathclyde. So let's take a look for a second. as we. I think we'll go ahead and wrap this episode up. A lot has happened. Um, let's take a look at our house. 79 living members of our dynasty now. Uh, and, of course... It spreads out ever further, and there's multiple cadet branches. There's actually a cadet branch within a cadet branch over here. Um, just kind of cool to see all of that happen. So here's where we are right now. Emperor Sinehelm and see all three of my brothers have created their own cadet branches. Just our little branch of the family has expanded so much. Emperor Edward II could be proud of all that has been accomplished by his children and grandchildren. And actually great-grandchildren now, Edward and, uh, and Henry. We've got some over here, too. So that's pretty cool. It's, it's fun as a genealogist to see that kind of stuff. Uh, and I'm excited to continue the, the story. So let me know your thoughts. Use the comment section below. Hit that like button if you would. And we'll see you again soon with another episode. Thanks for watching.